What up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Let's talk about it. What up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Let's talk about it. This is my new series. It's called To Be or Not To Be. That is the question. Where we look at some movies on the wonderful wasteland where all good movies go to die and horrible movies go to live on Tubi. I'm going to let you know if I want you to go to be or not to be, you know, at the end of the review. So I won't be with you long because I'm not going to spoil these too bad for you, okay? Except for one. I think I might spoil one for you. Okay, so I got my bonnet on. You see, I got my blanket on because that's what type of energy uh, to be is giving. It's giving bonnet and blanket energy, okay? And plus it's late. I'm going to go to bed and I wasn't going to put no wig on for y'all, okay? Let's go back. So I have discovered... The wonderful world of Tubi. Uh, I know a lot of people who are on Tubi, actually, in movies. And first, I was hating on Tubi. I was like, man, this is crazy. You know, it's bad. The movies are... No, let me tell you something. I thought about it and I said, if I was a beginner filmmaker, I would like to have an opportunity to make some money off of one of my films while I was trying to hone my talents and get better. And Tubi is a good way to do that. So, you know, some of these movies are really bad. Huh? Okay, some of them are uh, bad plots, but they had a lot of money. So it looked good, but it's bad. Some of them have bad plots, bad actors, and they ain't had no money. That's unfortunate, okay? But some of them have a good plot. They just ain't had no money, okay? And a couple of them had a good plot, and they had a little bit of coin to make it look like something, okay? Had a couple of good actors in there. They did their job, okay? So have you watched Tubi? Have you got into the Black Cinema tab? If you haven't, please do so, okay? Because some books going on up in there, and I need for y'all to see it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start off with our first movie. So I don't want to waste your time. This movie is called Please, Please, Please. Starring none other than China. She is an executive producer of this movie. If you watch Tubi a lot, then you're going to see Miss China. Miss China be in all the movies, okay? Now, she executive producer. She's coming behind the camera, okay, for us this time to give us this movie. Now, one thing I can say about this movie is that it's not good at the end, okay? But they spend a lot of time at the beginning developing the plot and the reasons why sis is out here doing what she's doing. Okay, but then when we got to the end, nothing ain't make no sense. It didn't make no sense to me. It didn't make no sense. Y'all didn't make no sense. So this one I'm going to spoil a little bit. So if you haven't seen Police on Tubi, then I want you to go ahead and, you know, get into it. Okay, we start off the movie with Miss Girl. Don't know her name because I had notes and I made this video before, but I'm making it again. Okay, so don't know Miss Girl name, but Miss Girl, China, she has a husband. And her and her husband are in love. They seem like they're very happy with each other, right? They go to the doctor. She's been having some problems having a baby, okay? She's not, she's, I don't want to say she's infertile, but it's going to be very difficult for her to have a baby. They need to consider alternative methods. We see flashbacks of her, you know, going in the room with the uncle. You know, he said he's going to give her something to cry about. So I'm assuming that he R-worded her when she was a kid. And so this has had affected her, you know, this has affected her reproductive system. Okay, so husband say, baby, all I want is you. Ooh. They go home and they live in their best life at the house. Okay, so um, later on, you know, we see he go out and she's calling him and he answered the phone and we see that he's with another woman. So he got a side piece, you know, out there. Wife calling, calling, calling. So he finally answered the phone. He talking to her, you know, the girl being quiet. But then we hear a child say, daddy, daddy, daddy. And the baby run in and lo and behold, the n got a baby. Okay. He got a baby. He got a whole side family. And you know, this lady can't have no baby. So you already know, baby, when I tell you this lady writhed and screamed and hollered on the floor for 15 minutes, I listen. I laughed. It was comical. We're supposed to be seeing her mental break. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of this is the plot point. She's having a mental break and she's breaking down. She's breaking down, honey. Okay? But when I tell you, it was the funniest thing I ever seen in my life. But Miss Girl, you know, she broke it on down, honey, and she tried to unalive herself. Okay? And so... They go to the hospital, you know, the husband rush up there, her daddy is up there, and he like, gone with your bad, gone. 
he, daddy like gone, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? You done cheated on my daughter. You ain't shit. You leave. So, um, eventually she break up with the husband and the husband get with the new lady and he make a family with this new lady with side piece. Okay. While we see Miss Girl a year later and Miss Girl China is in therapy trying to work through this goddamn situation, bitch, trying to unpack the bullshit. So back to her jewelry store. I don't know if she owns the store, she manages the store, but you know she's in her jewelry store, you know, doing her thing, and she goes out with her girls one night. There's a guy at the club, he's staring at her, he sends her a drink, okay? But you know, he don't come over there and say nothing to them. So next day she at the jewelry store and uh she oh I sounded so new all the time. She at the jewelry she's at the jewelry store. Okay, and this man comes in and he pretends like, you know, he's going to buy this necklace for somebody special. And so the next day, um, he the necklace comes back to the place because, you know, he done send it back to her. Right. So, you know, you know, she, they start dating a man and he's from somewhere else. She started dating a man. They date and we have a montage of them dating. Okay. And so they're into their dating thing. They fall in love. They happy. My man, my man, my man. It's my man, my man, my man. It's giving nobody, nobody. Okay. So I don't know what happened because I had stopped paying attention for a minute. But anywho, she walk in on him having relations with another woman. Okay. And so, um, Miss Girl, I don't know if she you know she beat everybody the fuck up immediately. She immediately went to beat bitch down. Okay. Period. And I wanna say she had a gun. She went and got a gun or she had a gun. A gun was in the picture and she shot him and she shot the girl too. She shot everybody. Okay, and so she brings this man to a basement type of place. Okay, we don't know where it's at. It's somewhere people can scream and yell and nobody will hear them. But he's not going to scream and yell because he already dead. Okay, so I don't know if the girl was dead or not. I don't know. I don't know, child. But the man was dead. She had the man tied up and she was hollering at him. So we're supposed to see that she has lost it. This lets us know as a viewer that she has lost it. You see all the effort they put into the character development. Okay, let's continue. Then she goes out. Now she's out here looking for cheaters. She's setting us up at the club. Okay. Her friend hit on him. He take the bait. She knock him. Boom, boom, bam. He, he up in the basement with everybody else. It was somebody else too, child, that was up in there. But I don't even remember what happened with him. So anyway, she had this man in the basement. Or was another guy she had in the basement. Anywho, she have several interactions with these people in the basement where she just come and talk to him and kick him and hit him with the gun and stuff. Like several times that was a little unnecessary. But one of the times in particular, she did a Lorena Bobbitt. And if you don't know who Lorena Bobbitt is, you're, you're too young to listen to this. Okay. She did a Lorena Bobbitt. And baby, when she was twirling that thing around in the air, I, I was cackling with laughter. Okay, so um, one of the ladies, one of the girlfriends, wives of these men come looking for the man. Okay, she goes to the popo. And now um, I forgot to tell y'all that Miss Girl, uh, Miss China, her daddy is a police officer. Okay, so he interviews the lady. And he said, oh, yeah, my daughter know him, you know, and she was like, oh, yeah. Um, she said she ain't talked to me. I'm, I'm going to talk to her. You know, obviously she tell him, you know, she ain't seen him or whatever. So, um, you know, throughout a series of events, let's just go ahead and, you know, get to the point. Uh, throughout a series of events, we find out that Mr. Uh, girlfriend wife, uh, she finds out, she figures out, excuse me, that Miss China is the last person who's seen her man or whatever. So she's going to go confront her. Daddy runs up on it. He figures out as well. Now, when Miss Girl um, and, 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 and girlfriend mom, and girlfriend and wife, they, they in the basement. She bring her to the basement. She like, yeah, I know you where he at. You know, she bring him to the basement. And she like, instead of um, girlfriend, wife, you know, shooting her, taking her to the pop hole, you know, uh, Miss Girl, Miss China Girl was like, girl, I did this for you, bitch. He was cheating on you, ho. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Like, girl, <laughs> he was cheating on you, girl. He is unfaithful. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. And I did this because I'm a girl's girl. Okay, so what you need to do is take this gun and unite with me, sister. Okay, and shoot him. And this bitch take the gun and shoot him. I said, <laughs> okay. So she take the gun and she shoot him. It was somebody, another man that was alive, y'all. Uh, because her daddy finds somebody, right? I don't know if he shoot the girl. I'm saying all that to say the daddy just shoot everybody. He shoot everybody. You hear me? 
immediately says, I got too much to lose, and he shoot everybody, okay? So after this lady done got away with all this stuff, you know, the scene just in, and, you know, that's it. I guess the police ain't show up. You know, I don't know what the, I don't know. Anyway, she's contemplating and thinking about the bitch she really want to kill. The mother... She really got her eyes on. She really want to kill them, okay? So she goes to the park and she creeping like a creep behind a tree looking at her ex-husband and his family. And that bitch is burning up on the inside, eating her earth. You hear me? So I don't know. She hit him with the text. Something happened at the hospital. They need to go to the hospital. Now, this is where it's got ridiculous, okay? Baby... The people go to the hospital. They pushing their baby in the carriage. They got the little boy. They walking down the hallway. And Miss Girl steps out and she shoot them. Pow, 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 pow. She shoot the kid. She shoot the mama and the daddy. She shot everybody. I said, what movie have you ever seen where they shot the baby and we seen it? Why, why did they show us that? Did, did I need to see that? Then she takes the baby. Now, it's no doctors, nurses, people, visitors, um, um, anesthesiologists, um, phlebotomists, like walking through the hallways. It's not a CNA. It's just not an orderly walking down the hall. Nothing. Okay? Nothing, nothing. Walking down the hallway. Not nobody. She takes the baby out the carriage. Oh, I ain't mean to do that, y'all. Sorry. And she gets on the elevator. Goes to the bottom floor. Opens the door. Takes off the coat. It's on the ground. She just takes the baby and she walks out. And then the scene ends. And then a new scene begins. And she's in a new club. With another man sitting down talking to him. Like she finna take him to somewhere and chop his ass up too. The end. I'm sure I missed something, but it's going to be a two B for me for that one. Most definitely. Okay. Go watch it. If you ain't got nothing to do, go watch it so you can be tickled because I know y'all it's actually not a bad concept just in general. But like I said, they took a lot of time to tell us why she doing this. But then at the end, the wrap up was like, we got to hurry up and finish this movie. So let's just hurry up and have her kill everybody and just leave because she's going to get away with it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no money to hire nobody to walk them down the hallway. That's what it was giving. So I don't know. Y'all watch it. Y'all let me know. It's called Please. It's on Tubi. Okay, the other movie we're going to talk about is called Marriage Pass. Now, I'm not going to give you the plot on Marriage Pass. I'm just going to give you a review because I want you to go watch this one. This one was a good one. Now, I'm not going to lie. They they did their good one. They did their big one. They, they got some good actors. Okay, whoever is the hiring casting, they had some good actors in this one. Now, the husband wasn't a good actor and the, and the sister wasn't a good actor. But the wife was a good actor. Her friend was a good actor. And some of the other people in the movie was a good, was good actors. They also had good cinematography on the movie. It was shot well. Now, this is a Tubi original. So, you know, it shot a little bit better than some other movies. You know what I'm saying? On the, um, on the platform. So, anyways, yeah, it was a Tubi original. So, it was shot pretty well. You know, good cinematography. It looked nice. It looked like a professional movie. It looked really good. Um, and the plot was good. It was actually pretty doggone good, y'all. Now, it start off like your typical movie with somebody having an affair cheating on their wife. You be like, okay, well, this is normal. She gonna turn crazy. She gonna try to stalk the man. She gonna try to break up his marriage and tell him everything. And it's going that way, but then it takes a twist and a turn that you're like, oh, this was, this was, I wasn't expecting this to happen. I was kind of expecting it, but then with that added thing, it was a little some extra on the little Tony Saturay on there at the end. That minute made you be like, oh, this was pretty good. So this is absolutely a 2B for me. Please watch this movie. It's called Marriage Pass. It was pretty doggone good. Now, it was given Lifetime, circa 2000. No, I'm lying. Lifetime, 1996, bitch. Saturday afternoon, USA. Saturday afternoon, Lifetime movies, all day with your auntie in them. That's what it was given. It was good. I'm not going to lie. It's called Marriage Pass. 
I was about to say marriage, cause but I'm not in New Orleans. I'm in Texas. Marriage Pass. That's the name of the movie. Go watch it. It's on Tubi. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this little new segment or whatever. I'm going to try to keep up with it. Y'all know I be busy. I be working and stuff. And um, I ain't going to make no excuses for myself, though, this year. I'm going to get back to getting to the content and doing what I need to do. So let you, let me know what you think about this video. You know, do you watch Tubi? Do you like it? Is it something that you're interested in? If you haven't, y'all go watch it. It's free. Everything on it is free. It's free. <laughs> it's a mess. Some of it's horrible, some of it's great. And they do have some old movies on Tubi that are really, really good that you can't find other places. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and check it out. Y'all let me know what you think. Okay, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I share this video with all your friends and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.